Hey, so you're thinking of moving to the Woodlands, Texas? Well, sit right there because in today's video, we are doing a full vlog style deep dive into everything there is to know about the Woodlands, Texas. We're gonna cover everything from its history to its amenities, and we're also gonna talk about affordability. And if you stay till the end of this video, we'll do a full market recap. That way you can be the first to know about the current market conditions here in the Woodlands, Texas. Let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, and living here in the Houston area, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about everything there is to know about living in the Houston area. My name is Kyler Ferris and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to the Houston area. So if you're looking to move in a day, a month, a year, whatever it is, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email and we would love to help you make a smooth move to the Houston area. Follow me and we're gonna go talk a little bit about the history of the woodlands. So we're here in Town Green Park here in the Woodlands, Texas, and let's talk history for a second. So I actually had the privilege of going to high school here in the Woodlands. I know it very well. And some things that you need to know about the Woodlands is it's consistently ranked the number one suburb in the entire country. And that's for quite a few reasons. But I would say the overarching reason is because it's a 28,000 acre master planned community. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is in 1974, when George Mitchell set out to develop the Woodlands, they had a plan day one for over 40 years worth of development. Now, I can't name another area or city that was that well thought out or that well planned. And so you'll see, if you look around over here, why it gets the name the Woodlands. You've got lush trees everywhere, tons of parks. In fact, out of the 28,000 acres, over 7,600 acres are actually preserved. So they'll never be touched, they'll never be developed. And that was one of the priorities of Howard Hughes, the developer, when they set out to develop the woodlands. And so a little bit more about the woodlands, it's broken up into nine villages. So they started building the first village in 1974, right up at the front of the freeway, right along I-45. And throughout the years, they've continued to build new villages all the way to the back of the woodlands. And so the newest village actually started in 2007 and so at this point the entire woodlands is built out so if you want a home here you're looking to move here you're gonna have to buy a resale home and that's okay a lot of people are doing remodels and and it's it's totally fantastic but that's the scoop here on the woodlands and so in each of the nine villages they have a shopping center everything's super convenient right there typically they've got one large anchor grocery store and then a ton of other shopping and amenities right there you got your coffee you got everything you need within just five minutes of your house then if you zoom out a little bit and you want to talk about amenities we're right up here at the front of the woodlands and behind me you've got the waterway let's go over here let's check it out all right so let's talk about amenities and things to do here in the woodlands right now we're at the waterway as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous they've got swans for people to rowboat in they've got a water taxi that you can take up and down the waterway so plenty of things to do right up here at the front of the woodlands for you and your family as far as parks go, there's over 146 parks here in the Woodlands, which I think is absolutely nuts. You're at any given time within about three minutes of a park. So if you wanna come out, enjoy a gorgeous day like today, it's right at your fingertips. In fact, we're shooting this video in the winter, and as you can see by looking around, everything's still really green, which is nuts. It's just, it's just a prettier place than any other suburb you're probably gonna find uh, in the Houston area. And so on top of the parks, you've got seven championship golf courses. It's a very large golf community here in the Woodlands. You've got tons of shopping. And I would argue that out of all the suburbs in Houston, the Woodlands has the best dining experience. I mean, you have hundreds of top-notch restaurants. It, it doesn't even compare to other suburbs. It's absolutely nuts. And if you wanna talk about shopping, you've got everything. Right here, you've got the Woodlands Mall behind us. You've got 
tons of indoor shopping there, but then you got other shopping areas. You've got Market Street, which is where we started this video at. It's got a lot of your higher end shopping. It's got some dining as well. And then you can go over to Hughes Landing for more dining experience right on Lake Woodlands. And so you've got the lake that's right up at the front of the woodlands. It's over 200 acres. It is boatable, but you can't use a motorized boat. You have to use an electric motor. Uh, it's got fantastic fish fishing and Anyways, the Woodlands really has something for everybody when it comes to amenities. Big tennis community as well. There's over 76 tennis courts here in the Woodlands and you really, you really can't beat it. So let's go, let's check some more stuff out. So my favorite thing about the Woodlands, Texas is the fact that you don't have to leave it to have fun. So we're right here at the Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. It's a huge pavilion. It holds over 16,000 people and some of the top artists in the country perform here year round so that you don't have to go more than 10 minutes from your house to enjoy an awesome concert. So right behind me over here is where we were is Market Street. You can go over, have drinks, have an awesome dinner and then you're right here at your concert and then you're taking a quick Uber ride home and you don't have to make that long commute to Houston. And so that's probably one of the most distinguishable features about the Woodlands. Not only does it have the pavilion, but whenever you add up all the amenities that it has, it really is its own town. And that, that kind of transitions me into what I want to tell you about. So the Woodlands is actually a township. And so it's, it's a little bit different than, uh, you know, the city of Conroe or the city of Spring. It's a township. And the reason they did that is they didn't want to be annexed by Conroe and they didn't want to be annexed by Houston. They wanted to remain their own entity. That way, all that work that went into planning this master planned community could be preserved. And so one interesting fact in the way that that actually plays out is there's no HOAs here in the Woodlands. Woodlands. And so you don't pay an individual HOA. It doesn't matter which of the nine villages you are. You pay into the township, just an annual, small annual fee, and you get access to all of their amenities. This includes uh, swimming pools, like I said, the parks, playgrounds, everything, you name it, even the rec center, you get access to it here in the Woodlands, Texas, because it's all part of a township. Okay, so we are here at Baker Street, right on the waterway here in the Woodlands. And what's really unique about Baker Street is it's actually looks kind of like a downtown area. And that's gonna be super unique to this area of the Woodlands. And it's, it's kind of sets it apart from any of the other suburbs. Because if you look behind me, I mean, you've got a full building, like a super tall building. So you've got mixed retail, you've got office space, you've got dining. We're right here right now at Blue Door Coffee. And so you got an awesome coffee shop and the one other thing that's unique about Baker Street is it's actually got nightlife. And so there's a whole street of bars right behind me. And instead of having to drive all the way to Houston to get that kind of nightlife feel, you've got it here on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, right in the woodlands. And so that also leads me to talking about office space. You've got a ton of really, really, really big companies that have actually moved some of their world headquarters here. You've got Exxon, you got HP has a huge campus here. Uh, you had Anadarko, I don't know if they're still around, but they've got two skyscrapers right over here, right along the waterway. And so a lot of people don't commute to Houston. Now, if you do commute to Houston, Depending on traffic, you're looking at anywhere from a 30, 30 minute drive to an hour, but we do have the tollway that you can connect to Houston too. And there's also park and rides. So you can hop on a park and ride right here in the Woodlands, take that to downtown. It'll bring you back home from work at the end of the day. And there's actually such a large population and density of businesses here in the Woodlands that you actually get some reverse commuting. You actually get people that live in Houston that commute here for work because their corporate campus is here. So, these are some of the things that I would say really set the Woodlands apart from these other suburbs. And it's just a really fun place to come out, enjoy a cup of coffee, grab a drink with your buddies, and have a short drive home. We're here at Hughes Landing. Behind me, you've got Lake Woodlands, and you also have my favorite restaurant, True Lux. You've got a full row of restaurants right here in the heart of the Woodlands with amazing dining experiences. And that leads me into talking about housing. So here in the Woodlands, unlike other suburbs of Houston, you've, you've got different options. Not only do you have residential single family housing, but right behind me here, you actually have One Lakes Edge, which is a full apartment complex. And so my mother actually lived here for a couple of years, fantastic experience, but it provides a nice variety of different people and different living situations, depending on where you're at in life. You got a lot of young professionals here. You've got a lot of people made a lot of money and retired and want to be right here next to all the nice bars, nice restaurants. 
in this awesome view. And so when we're talking about housing here in the Woodlands, since the Woodlands started back in 1974, you're looking at over 45 years of, of houses being built. And the newest ones were really only built in 2008, 2009. So they're still at least 10 years old. And so when you're looking at housing here in the Woodlands, most likely you're gonna be looking at a remodel. They're not quite to that stage in age yet where they're tearing homes down. They've done that to a few, but it's not common. It'll probably start happening in the next 10 to 15 years. But right now what a lot of people will do is they'll find a home that's got good bones and they'll go in and they'll do a full remodel on it. Now, while that's awesome, some of the cons to that are the fact that you're not gonna get kind of the newer open floor plans that a lot of people are looking for in homes these days. Architecture's changed, everybody wants that big open family room that opens up to the kitchen and a lot of the older Woodlands homes until you get into the upper price points aren't gonna have that. They're gonna be bigger two stories, but they're gonna be a little bit more compartmentalized. As far as affordability goes, you've got prices that range anywhere on the low end of townhomes, about $250,000 is probably the cheapest you're gonna get here in the Woodlands, all the way up to five plus million dollars. Some of those homes are actually here on the lake right behind me. Okay, so we are pulling up to our first house here today. This is the best example of what you can get for about $300,000 here in the Woodlands. I really wanted to highlight this price point. It seems to be a very popular price point here in the Woodlands. Uh, it is kind of difficult though to get into the Woodlands at this price point these days. This home behind me, it's on the smaller side of things. It's right around 1,500 square feet. It is a three bed, two bath, and it's got some updates, but it's not completely renovated. And this is a good example of what you can get if you're trying to get into the woodlands around that $300,000 price point. Now there's not a lot of inventory at this price point and it is pretty competitive. And if you're wanting one of those larger two stories, you know, 2,500 to 3,500 square foot homes, you're not probably going to be able to pull that off here in the woodlands at this time. Now we're gonna go check out what we can get for our money at a higher price point here in the woodlands. Okay, so the next home that we're pulling up to here is probably a more realistic price point for here in the woodlands if you're wanting to get these larger two-story family homes. So the one right behind me, it's 3,200 square feet. That's pretty sizable. You're gonna be able to live in this home long-term uh, throughout your, your family's growth. And this one was built in 1989. That's also a good example of kind of how old these homes are. This one's been completely remodeled. It's got a full facelift to it and it's got new AC, new roof, and then aesthetically it's been updated as well. And so that's what's pushing that price up into that 650 range. You might be able to get something this size, not as updated uh, in the fives, but these homes are going to be more likely to come with pools. This one doesn't, but a lot of them do. And Really, you're gonna to see too that at this price point, the pride of ownership's you know, a little bit lifted, um, the quality of the home's a little bit higher. And now let's go check out an even higher price point to show you what you can get for your money here in the Woodlands. Okay guys, we're at our last stop on our home tour today. And the home right behind me that you see here is incredible. It is $1.5 million. And what you get for that price here in the Woodlands is you get a swimming pool, you get 5,500 square feet. It's a newer home. It was built here in 2010, which you don't see a ton of here in the Woodlands. So if you're looking for something newer, it does exist. Um, this home hasn't had any updates or remodeling because it doesn't need it yet. It's absolutely gorgeous. When you get into these upper price points, as you'll see as we drive through the neighborhood, the, the style of home starts to change. You start to get into a lot of these larger lots. This is a third of an acre lot and you're also going to be getting uh, a different style. So they use a lot of stucco in the higher price point homes. They're Mediterranean style. It's a mixture of stucco and stone and the houses really start to vary when you get into this price point. They don't all look the same. It's not cookie cutter. You're really getting a custom home. And so at 5,500 square feet on the golf course with a pool, with an outdoor kitchen, what more could you ask for here in Woodlands, Texas? You may be wondering how the schools are here in the Woodlands, Texas, but we need to start with what school programs the Woodlands High School and College Park, the two high schools here are actually part of. They're actually not their own school system. They're part of Conroe ISD, that's Conroe Independent School District. 
But that being said, if you've talked to anybody about the Woodlands, they're gonna tell you whatever you can do to get into those feeder schools to the Woodlands High School or College Park, do it. That's one of the reasons you're gonna pay a little bit of a premium to live in the Woodlands on top of all the other things we've talked about today. That being said, the Woodland schools are very highly rated. Now, I won't get into too many details on that. We'll drop a link below to niche.com. That's what we recommend everybody does is do your own school research. Everybody has different standards and different ideas of what good schools are. But on a macro level, talk to anybody and they're gonna say that the Woodland schools are second to none. And it's not just academically, they also offer amazing sports programs. The Woodlands High School has won the state football championship a couple times, and if you're from out of state, you know anything about Texas high school football is huge here we've got huge football stadiums that are like hundreds of millions of dollars and seat 20 plus thousand people it's absolutely nuts and so one thing that you're not gonna know if you're moving from out of state is that a lot of the high schools actually all the public high schools here in the state of Texas do a ranking system for students and if you rank in the top 10 percent of students in your class you get automatic acceptance to any of the public universities in the state of Texas, like University of Texas, Texas A&M. And this is really important to know because you're gonna actually skip a lot of steps that are required to get into some of these colleges. Now, that can actually bite you because if you come to a really competitive school like the Woodlands High School or College Park, then it's actually a lot harder to rank in that top 10% than it is at some of the schools that might not have these A plus school ratings. So it's something you need to know if you're considering moving to the Woodlands, but you can rest assured that if your kid goes to any of the feeder schools into these high schools, they're gonna get a fantastic education, they're gonna have great community, and they're gonna have access to really, really great extra curriculars. We've covered a ton in today's video, but there's still so much more that you need to know about the Woodlands. Check out our other video, Pros and Cons of Living in the Woodlands, and that way you can really understand what people love and what people don't love about being here in the Woodlands, Texas. If you're looking to make a move here, comment below, ask us any questions. That's where our contact information is. We would love to help you guys make a smooth move to the Woodlands, Texas. We'll see you in the next video.